हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सैट मंत्रा वेलकम टू डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चन फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्सेप्ट प्लीज जॉइन अवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन अवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सैट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये पर्सन परचेज हंड्रेड पेंस एट ए डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट द नेट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी स्पेंड बाय द पर्सन टू परचेज द पेंस इज सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज The selling expenses incurred by the person are fifteen percent on the net cost price. What should be the selling price for hundred pence in order to earn a profit of twenty five percent? This is a question from profit and loss chapter. It's a previous year question. Bit tricky problem, my friends. Pay attention. A person purchases hundred pence at a discount of ten percent. That's okay. The net amount of money spent by the person to purchase the pens is six hundred rupees. Six hundred is the net amount or net cost that person spent in purchasing the pens. Now, the selling expenses incurred by the person are fifteen percent on the net cost price. See, he bought the pens at six hundred rupees. Now, to sell them, he has to travel. Other expenses would be there. Those expenses incurred are fifteen percent on the net cost price. Okay, six hundred is the net cost price. Now fifteen percent of six hundred is fifteen by hundred into six hundred. Okay, so this is six hundred plus fifteen six is ninety six ninety rupees. So the total cost incurred by him in selling the pens is six ninety rupees six hundred rupees in purchasing the pens. Ninety rupees are selling expenses, so total is six ninety rupees, my friends. Okay, this much investment he made in selling the pens, or in other words, this much cost incurred to him in selling the pens. Okay, now what should be the selling price for hundred pens in order to earn a profit of twenty five percent? This is the cost incurred to him in selling hundred pence, my friends. Okay, we are talking about hundred pence only. So cost is six ninety rupees. Now we want selling price of hundred pence. Now let's use the only formula we have for profit and loss chapter. That is one plus x is equal to s by c. X is profit or loss percentage value, my friends. Here we have profit. So x would be Plus point two five, okay. Plus because profit point two five, okay. Percentage value of twenty five percent. So substituting these values in this equation, one plus point two five is equal to s. We do not know. We want that value c six ninety. Now this implies s is equal to six ninety into one plus point two five. I am writing it as one by four. Okay, so this is six ninety plus six ninety by four. Six ninety plus one seventy two point five. This is eight sixty two point five zero. So our answer is C. The whole problem hangs on only one logic, my friends. That is cost price. The total cost incurred by him in selling the hundred pens, that is, purchase price plus selling expenses, my friends. Okay, that is six ninety rupees. So keep this in mind. You can expect similar questions. And if you observe here, this sentence is of no use to us in this problem. Okay, this is a redundant sentence. Just ignore it. To know more about the course, kindly visit csatmantra.com. If you have any queries, feel free to call us or mail us. Thank you.